Hi, this is Brandon from Watches on You. Today we're taking a look at the Bremont S500. But before I take a look at this watch, I want to remind you that I currently have a Kickstarter campaign running, I'll leave you a link in the description, uh, for a watch that I created. So this is a $149 Mecha Quartz chronograph. So you get the accuracy and affordability of a quartz movement, but the feel and look of a mechanical movement. What I mean by that is, as you can see, I hit the top pusher, and it's got this beautiful, smooth seconds hand running around the dial. And you can, when you stop the chronograph and reset it, it flies back just like a mechanical movement. And um, I really wanted to create this watch, mostly for young people who might not be able to uh, buy watches that are kind of in the typical price point, point of the ones that we review, but I wanted to incorporate a lot of those features into uh, my own watch and with my own design. So it's got a tachymeter, as you can see on the dial. It has a world time scale on the back and unit conversion scale. So I was just really excited to create this watch. I really, really love it. I've been wearing it for weeks. It's been very reliable. Um, it's just been fantastic. And definitely check out the link in the description to this piece. But now without further ado, let's get into the kind of main feature of this video, and that's the Bremont S500. So we're here at Continental Diamond in St. Louis Park taking a look at this watch. They're an authorized retailer of Bremont and many other luxury watch brands, but they're actually a new authorized retailer of Bremont, and I'm really excited that we've been given the opportunity to review these watches here because we had not previously seen many at all in Minnesota. We had only reviewed one, I think, on the channel uh, before, probably two weeks ago. And um, I'm really excited to get more of their interesting and complicated pieces to review. So as I said, this is the Bremont S500, and it's called the 500 because it's got a 500 meter water resistance. So this is a pretty serious diver. They do have divers up to 2,000 meters water resistant, um, but this is a little bit smaller than that. It's 43 millimeters in diameter. Uh, it's a little bit less beefy is what I mean by that. Um, and I, I really like this piece. It's very elegant, but very sporty. Everything Bremont has made and that I've been seeing has just been absolutely uh, fantastic in terms of its build quality. Um, the retail price of this watch I just want to mention is $4,695 and I mean it's a very good value for money with the quality that you're getting on this case. I mean it, the brushing is absolutely tremendous. Um, and uh, in terms of the movement, that's the only real drawback of this piece is that it does not have a 100% in-house, but it has a modified ETA movement. And I've personally seen the finishing that Bremont uses on their movements, and it is pretty much second to none in the ETA game. I mean, they're really fantastic. I would say they're definitely a cut above even Breitling. Um, they're just, it's just great. And um, I'm really excited to be able to review this watch. Some interesting features of this piece, it does have a loomed bezel. I do not have my UV light with me. Um, to uh, show you that, but it's got a green loomed bezel, and then obviously there's loom on the dial, so it's very, very usable. You can use that bezel underwater, and you can see all the numbers, as opposed to just the pip like you'd see on a Rolex Mariner or something like that. Um, so that's a very interesting feature. Also, you have this offset crown at 2 o'clock that it, it provides a very unique look, and it gives it a very kind of mechanical feel to it. The rubber strap on this watch is supremely comfortable, but it's also really thick. It's thicker than the ones seen on the new Omega Seamasters, so, uh, which I do think are a little bit too thin in my opinion. Um, I'm a great fan of that watch. I have an Omega Seamaster, not the newest one, but um, I'm familiar with the line uh, intimately. So I, I really, I just think that the uh, rubber that they use is a little bit too thin. This is much thicker, much more like Breitling, uh, where it feels a little bit more tough. So now I'll try this watch on for a wrist shot. So it's, a 40, it's got a 43 millimeter diameter. And actually, a lot of Bremont's watches have 43 millimeter diameters, in interestingly, even the chronographs. Um, and it's actually a really good size. I tend to like watches that are more around 40 millimeters, and I kind of wish this was slightly smaller, but it would look good on most people's wrist. I have about a 6.5 inch wrist so in circumference, just for comparison purposes. So if you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, and share. Check out the link in the description to both Continental Diamond's website as well as my personal Kickstarter that I've started. Um, uh, again, if you do subscribe, remember to hit the notification bell so you get notified of all our videos. Otherwise, you're not going to be notified when we post a new video. Um, so definitely do that. Thanks for watching.